Welcome to Let's Check Out Legend of Ghost Lion for the NES. And yes, I am checking this game out because I saw the AVGN box art review a few weeks back. And it made me curious to check this game out. Like, what the heck could this be about? So here we go. Yeah, never heard of this game ever until ABGN mentioned it. Cool music so far. They don't quite look like the woman on the cover, but whatever. Right here we go. Well, my am I playing Star Tropics here? Oh, great! It's an RPG. Jeez, as some of you guys know, I am not good at RPGs, but oh well. Let's give this game a chance here. I did like Chrono Trigger, so maybe I like this. And this really does remind me a lot of Star Tropics right here so far, though. Nice. I guess that would... Dang it. No, go to goods. Let's see, use the gold key here. There we go. Uh-oh. I saw water under a bridge. Yeah, so is she going to be saved by a dolphin too, just like Mikey was in Star Tropics? No, she got saved by some fairies, I guess. Alright, so... Wow, this does look like Star Tropics. I guess we're on Sea Island here. Let me go to the... I guess it's the town. Yeah. The town of bread. Okay. Well, eat something, you idiot. Uh, sure. Oh, no. I like the soundtrack in this game so far. It's pretty catchy. Hey, it's Dan from Street Fighter. What the? Stardust? Gold Dust, brother? Right. 
Eh, no thanks, not yet. <clears throat> See, I don't even... Let me just check the choices here, but I don't even have no rupees yet, so... Rup I said rupees. Rubies, not rupees. This ain't Zelda. What's this idiot doing? Taking a leak in the bushes? Oh, shrooms. Where's Shroom Kingdom at? That is Luigi. No, it looks like the guy from Super Pitfall. Ugh. Yeah, I don't have any money, but that's all the stuff I could have bought from this guy, so I will be back. Alright, back to the overworld. I'm going to go in this cave over here. What? Oh man, right before I entered the freaking cave. I'm gonna see if I can escape. Ha! Ah, I can! Ha! <laughs> Screw you, dude. Zombie, this ain't the Walking Dead. Alright, imagine that. Walking Dead for the NES, that'd be something. Alright, so I'm in this cave here. Again, real looks real similar to Star Tropics. Hearing music. Who's this? Yes, return Stardust to his brother. Uh, okay. What? Oh, so he's a goblin, okay. I don't think I can run this time. I need that stardust, so... And, of course, that's the only weapon I have is a dagger. Courage points. Normally, it's called hit points, but I guess each RPG is different. In this case, it's courage points. Alright. Since that's the only offense I have, let's use it again. Jeez, man, I'm about, to, I'm about to die already. Let me call somebody for some help here. I got a spear and a lamp. Let me call the spear. But Goldberg appears and uses the spear on Goblin. Come on, Goldberg. I mean, Moja, Moha, whatever your name is. Do something. How many hit points does it take to kill this guy? He's just like the first enemy I'm fighting the game. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh. <laughs> he already appeared. Man, that goblin will not die. Oh, finally. Jeez, alright. Got training. Wow, wow, why am I thinking tranny? I'm gonna say 20, I got 20 rupees. Ah, oh, what the heck? Ah, oh, let me see if I can run again. No, of course not. I need to be too good to be true to run for a second time in a row. Let me guess, I'm gonna die here. Come real close to it. Let me call some, for some more help here. No, well, what? Ah, oh, dang, I didn't mean to pick that. Great, that's it. Dead. Maria lost all her courage. Now back to the Fountain of Youth again. As these fairies give me some generic encouragement. Giant butterflies, wherever the heck they are. Alright, let's try this again. said the goblin was the first enemy in the game, not really the zombie was. And I, at least I'm able to escape him. Ah, uh, what? Oh man, that's so wrong. Right before I get to the freaking chest, I gotta fight a douche. Alright, this is fun. Let's fight an orc now. More like a dork. Alright, let's use the lamp now. Bo, it's the old guy from Golden Axe. Or the epic bearded guy. 
see what I should use here. Use a needle. The small needle pricked orc. Orc is well, 12 damage points. Wow, that needle really pwned him. Was it a drug needle or something that was weird? But anyway, we're getting this. Ah, I found the stardust. Nice. All right. Now, now that I got the stardust, time to get out of here. Yeah, this music is really scary. All right, of course. Let's find another enemy. All right. Let's see if I can run from the zombie again. Yes, I can. Haha, <laughs> nice. All right, another, another chest. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, the zombie. The zombie did chase me after all. Freaking douche. Nope, I can't run again. All right, well, let's fight. You want to fight? No, oh, man, you're going to hit a girl? That's messed up. Let me call the old dude again. Twana. I have an old... I kind of a name is that for old man, Twana. Use the needle to pwn this enemy again. Nice, pwned. Alright, now I got 29 rubies. Let's see what's in here. Oh, nice, 100 rubies, ECW. Ah, that's not ECW, more this grinding stuff. Well, I mean, I know grinding is good, we need to power up, but it's just, ugh. I just don't like how it's done in RPGs. You run into an invisible enemy, like here, right here, now I found spotting one of the stat childs from Ocarina of Time. Don't tell me I'm gonna get beat by one of these Castlevania skeletons. Come on, Tanya or Twana, do your thing. Alright, so now it's protecting me. I thought I'd go ahead and... Oh, oh. It's supposed to be protecting me or something? Twana, what the heck? No, oh, that's right. I already called him. Alright. I'm using Stardust here. Alright, and with the old man, use the needle again. Man, it was my turn to hit. See, that's BS. That's what I hate about RPGs. Wasn't it my turn to hit? Alright, let's start over here again. Let's see where I want to go next. I want to go in the same spot, or, well, if I can get to where I want to go, but I keep running into these invisible douchebags. Let's just escape from that. Let me go into town here, because I'm going to need some bread. Maybe some other items, too, now that I have some rubies. That's why, well, maybe if I buy some bread here in a minute, I might be able to... No, it's not the end of the world. Shut up. I forgot who was selling the bread, though. Was it him? No. I got the Stardust. Alright, so let me see if I can get this guy the Stardust. What? Don't he want the Stardust? Maybe I should leave it with him. Oh, what's the point of that? That's stupid. Let me get out of here. Alright, this is the guy that's selling bread and stuff. I want bread. Alright. Good thing it's not the soup Nazi. You want the bread? Three dollars! Alright, let me feed this old woman the bread here so she'll shut up. There you go. What? You're still hungry? No, I don't have another piece of bread. You... Jeez, we got a tapeworm or something? Please buy some. I just did, you pig. Wait, that's all you're gonna get. I have to waste some other time. Alright. Oh, shrooms. Alright, well, I've already been to that. Ah, I'm trying to think of a different place to go. And of course, I run to another enemy. This is the Kobold. What the heck is a Kobold? But anyway, it's whooped me right now already. 
crazy stardust here. What? Dang it! It's my turn to hit! Nothing happened. Yeah, way to go, powerful stardust! Maybe I'm using it wrong. I'm not even sure what the heck stardust is supposed to be used for. Let me use gold dust. That'd be better. I'm gonna use this puny dagger that I got. I'm about to die already again at this green cling on Klingon, whatever the heck it's called. I want to try not to use my magic power yet and call that Olga all the time. I might have to though, but not in this case. I actually won. All right. So let's go in here. Check out what this area is all about. All right. Uh, of course, let's spice the one again. I don't think so. All right, continuing on. Oh, nice. Another treasure chest. What? No, oh, look. A fragment of hope. Hope is now 2. Courage is now 18. And dreams are now 22. All right. I just skipped a fight scene right there because I'm not going to record all that. I want to. I don't want to record the entire grinding sequence, especially if it's a fight you've already seen, like that right there with a freaking skeleton. All right. Now speaking to Sahasrala from A Link to the Past. All right, and. This part kind of reminds me, another part that reminds me of Star Tropics here. Except, uh, the Captain Bell part is what I'm thinking of. I thought if I used the Stardust here, that would have worked, but nope. I can't throw it away, I can't leave it either. And the reason why this part reminds me of Stardust is because, I mean, the Star Tropics, is because of the freaking, uh, piano thing, and then this sequ sequence right here. It looks like I might have to do something to maybe make that statue move out of the way or something, I'm not sure. Maybe I... just a long shot. I, whoa! Oh, well, there you go! Alright, cool. So use the Stardust on these candles here, or whatever. Well, oh, that's creepy. Statue begins to speak. Whoa. Ah, there we go. Secret passageway. Alright, skip another fight scene. Get used to seeing that. Unless it's going to be something different to, to see. I'm going to skip it. Like right here, it's a different enemy. Or, um... It's either going to be a different enemy, or maybe I have a new weapon to use. In this case, I had no chance. Um... I was going to say, the only time I'll skip a battle, if it's a new weapon I'm going to use, or if it's a new enemy I haven't fought yet. So let me start right here again. Love the overhead music. Oh, Goblin. Yeah, I done fought him. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Let's move on. Oh, another town. Dang it, let me enter the town! How these douchebags interrupt my gameplay? People complain about the box popping up in Simon's Quest interrupting the gameplay, but this is to me is more annoying unless you love RPGs. This is eerie. This, yeah, this is a town full of enemies. Whoa, multiple enemies now. It's more than one. I said multiple. It's just two right here. Two werewolves. What's this? Castlevania now? Is this Team Wolf the video game? And I just got whooped by Michael J. Fox. Jeez, man, nah, like I said, not good with RPGs, but let's continue on here. Gonna cut to here. I go down the Zelda stairs. Alright. Alright, let's go in here, and of course I get stopped by another random enemy. No, forget that, I just skip that. Alright, so I fell down that hole right there, and... 
When we go up here, I got another treasure chest to go to. Oh, let's see what's in here. I got some more hope. Ooh, 39. Dreams are now 35. Nice. Ugh. I got an idea. How about a quick cut? <laughs> there we go. Use the quick cut magic. That's what I ought to use right there. Alright. Yeah, I need to eat some bread big time. Alright. I love this track. Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh. Ah, dang it, of course. Legend of Ghost Lion, probably should be Legend of Vampires here. Ouch. Damn, we're getting pwned right here. Alright, come on, Epic Bear God, do your thing. Use the dark, whatever that is. Dang it, let me attack. It's my turn. Ooh. Come on, Swana. Use your dark magic. Oh, Werewolf lost their vision. However, the magic didn't affect Werewolf. Really? It just said it, it, they can't see, but it didn't affect them? How does that make sense? Does that mean they're blind, but it didn't cause any damage? So would they not be able to see me for a little while during this battle? Ugh. Come on. Alright. Dang. They just used, uh, the needle on me. What the heck happened there? What? I'm getting pwned by these werewolves. Haha. <laughs> yeah. The magic didn't affect Maria. Yes, but the magic affected him. Bye, Felicia. Alright. Time to take care of this werewolf right here. It's my turn. Ah, uh, BS! Bunch of BS! Alright, use the bomb. Blow this werewolf away. What? Man, what? How did that happen? How did you just lose power all of a sudden? I didn't notice he was low on magic. Man, this is... This is cheap. This is why I don't like RPGs. Alright. Let me start here again. Alright, so let me go out of that cave and go through here. To the beautiful green scenery of whatever world I'm in. I think I've been over here yet. We're going there. Whoa. Uh, this is something new. Now this looks like Star Tropics big time. The inside of that whale. Wow. Alright, more hope, dreams, and courage. I need some liquid courage here to keep me through this game. I'm sure Jane Man would agree with that. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, the red ring. The red ring from the original Zelda? What? Wow. All right, here we go. Two orcs now. Use the red ring, see what it can do. <laughs> what? Man, they made Link look like a sissy in this game. More like the pink ring. Oh, come on, halfling, Mr. Pink, do your thing. Jeez, he already sucks. What? what? Only two damage? Man, get out of here, you sissy. Two damage. Get Quana back over here. Now what's up? Now he's fully powerful at his 100 points. The red ring. The more of the red ring of death, because I'm about to die here thanks to that red ring, red, red ring, pink ring dork, whatever that thing is. Alright, one orc is defeated. Halfling is only protected. You can't protect yourself. Get out of here. Halfling quote unquote attacks. One damage! Really? Oh now come on, Twana. At least the uh, pink thing did some damage. Now oh, come on, this man, this orc ain't playing around. Yeah, Halfling's about to die. Good. That thing sucks anyway. this thing to sleep. Alright, he fell asleep. So let me stag him with the dagger while he's asleep. Yeah. That's pretty cold-blooded. But he's still alive. Oh, he's still sleeping. Oh, now he woke up. What did you tell me he's sleeping for? That's a, that was a douchebag way of teasing me. Come on now, let's beat this one simple enemy, come on! Use the S-plate, what the heck is an S-plate? Oh, we're not gonna find out right now, because I done defeated the orc, alright. 167 rupees. Oh great, he's back along with Kobold. Or Colgan or Coldan from freaking Tattoo Assassins. Alright, come on, old man. Kobo looks like a Power Ranger enemy reject. Whoa, alright. I use the S plate or whatever it's called. Man, a ring up here around my head. What is that? Is that gonna protect me or temporarily in this building? I don't know, but then we use poison here to see if I can poison these juice bags. Of course! Oh, the poison needle pricked Kobo though. Kobo's giving 12 points damage. Oh, nice! Yeah, pick your poison. Time to use the L plate. Would it be better than the S plate? A big plane of light appeared and protect you. That's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Jeez. Nice pwned. I can get somewhere other than a dead end. I 
Ah, grrr. Really? God, let me go back. Up these stairs and back to the overworld. Actually, let me go. I forgot to go over here. Have I been over here yet? Let me see. Uh, Alright, here we go. Nice treasure chest there. Alright, here we go. More hopes, dreams, and courage. What? Rapier, rapier, whoa. I don't know what I just found, but hopefully it'll help me here. The heck is a rapier? Try this thing out here. Whoa, a pink elf. Hopefully, this thing helps out better than the other pink nightmare I had to deal with. Man, they about to get pwned already. Ah, of course not. Way to go. Thanks a lot. You're a big help, elf. Keeper Elf would be better help right now. Come on, Lamp Twano, you're the best sidekick I've had in this entire this entire playthrough. There's, yeah, I mean Okay now let's see. What the heck? Alright, nice, lost their vision. Of course, it but it didn't affect them. What the heck? One down, one more to go. Okay, hopefully Elf can protect me here. Nice. Wow, 255 rupees. Alright, there we go. Many demons appear, or just two, rather. A couple of demons appear, skeleton and zombie. Oh man. That's it. That is it, because I am done. I'm done with this game. Uh, I've given it a chance, and so I'm pretty much going to stop right here. Alright, so Legend of Ghost Lion for the NES. Never heard of this game until AVGN reviewed the box art. Uh, box cover, whatever it was, the video series he did last month. Um, I have to say, though, uh, so far it doesn't seem like that bad of a game, really. I mean, I'm not into RPGs, but this game does seem pretty cool. Uh, it kind of got me hooked a little bit. And, yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't seem like a bad RPG. Um, would I say it's underrated? I don't know. We haven't given it much of a chance, but uh, you know, not a bad first impression so far. Uh, first impression, I might have to give it a 6 out of 10. Um, I could give, give this game more of a chance later on down the road. But uh, for right now, I'm going to stop right here, give it a 6 out of 10, say so far, so good, not bad. So there we go. With that said, guys, I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.